In this video, we're sharing everything you need to know about our subscription coffee for the month of May. Welcome. Today we're going to walk you through the subscription coffee for the month of May. Our coffee is coming from Colombia, more specifically a region in Colombia called Guadalupe. There we find the farmer Carmen. Carmen and her husband has been farming coffee for many years now and this is the first season we're actually buying from them. The farm itself is up on 1700 meters and there they're farming one specific varietal which is a Colombia varietal. The Colombia varietal is actually a hybrid varietal between a Katura and a Timor. Now, when it comes to Colombian coffee in April, we've been having some challenging times. Every season, we're looking for different farmers, trying to find a coffee that is expressing what we're looking for. And we think we actually found this in this specific coffee. The coffee itself has very clear flavor notes of pear, nougat, but also interesting berry-like qualities that to some extent reminds us of a really good Kenyan coffee. The roasting of the coffee is relatively classic April style. We're talking about a very light roast here, which will affect the brewing as well. The total ro roast time is 10 minutes with a time after crack that is one minute and four seconds, which is slightly longer than we push most of our other profiles. But we do this because we need, want this coffee to pick up a bit more color, meaning that this specific coffee has a slightly harder time to pick up color than other coffees that we're roasting. As per usual, we roast all of our coffee on a 15 kilo Falcon lowering roast. The end temperature in this case is at 208.5 degrees Celsius, also slightly higher than what we're used to. Again, just to give this coffee a bit more color. When it comes to brewing this coffee, we're bringing up the April Brewer and we're doing a classic 20 to 300 in terms of brew ratio. Now, this means that every single pour is going to be 100 grams. So we start pouring 100 grams within 10 seconds. The first five seconds of that pour is going to be a circle pour transitioning over directly into a center pour. Now, the difference between these styles is very important when it comes to using any kind of brewer, but especially the April brewer, because the center pour is going to speed up the flow rate, meaning how the water goes through the coffee. This is going to change the extraction and gives us more control of the total brew time. Now, after the first pour, we're waiting for 40 seconds until the second pour. And then the final third pour is going to be at one minute and 10 seconds. Looking at a total brew time that is about 2.30, never longer than three minutes. Now, if you want a cup that is a tiny bit stronger, you can definitely push the brew time up a bit lower. It just means that the water won't go through for each individual pour here, right? But it's up to you to regulate with the grind size. The grind size itself on a Comandante is gonna sit on 32 clicks on a standard dial. Very straightforward, very simple. Now, we tested this coffee in a few different brew methods. And we really want to go for a flapper brewer. If you don't have the April brewer, go for a Kalita, a Lily Drip, or something like that. It really brings out a bit more sweetness and a bit more balance in this coffee, which is really what we're looking for. Now, that was all the details for this coffee. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to write them down here as per usual. Thank you for subscribing. And we're really excited to bring you something very special for next month. Thank you.